Welcome to your VR dev vlog number five, number five. And today we have two more treats. We've got our European crossbow working. We've got our Arbalest crossbow working and all of our other guys are working. Actually, for me, this is super cool because I'm a Southpaw. The crossbows are now working with both hands. So I can now hold this in my left hand, pull the string back in my right hand, load a bolt in and fire and forget. So that was pretty cool, surprisingly difficult to get them working with both hands, but uh, it is now. So very, very cool. So that that guy's working. And also the uh, the light European crossbow working with two hands or working with both hands, left, right, whatever I want to do. Find my reload or my lock point, pull back with both hands, go like this. Very important, there's a little tip. Make sure that you have your headset on pretty tight because as you bend over, and lean down because the vibe is a little bit heavy uh it'll kind of want to slide off your face a little bit if you're spending too much time with your head tilted down so just make sure that strap is a little tight um not too tight but a little tighter than you might have it if you were just having a casual a casual non-involving experience unlike your vr so we can see that our 16 inch bolt goes in nice just like it did last week and hopefully hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll have two-handed uh, two-handed uh, crossbows working with the uh, both hands in proper positions and all that fun stuff. So that's good. That's from last week. Ah, uh, denied. So we have our European crossbow and we've got our Arbalesque crossbow. Arbalesque that has the most uh, um, involved mechanics. So we'll save that for last. The European crossbow, just like the light European crossbow, uh, you don't have to bend down quite as much because it's so tall. But you uh, you just find your spot, put it down, lock it in place, grab the string, feel that 200 pound pull weight, uh, and uh, you grab your 16 inch, or you can even grab a 12 inch bolt, and you just put that in place, and uh, off you go. So normally you'd be more like this, and off you go. So it's just like a beautiful, beautiful big crossbow. I just love it. So much lovely detail in the wood and in the grain. And as we get better and better headsets with more resolution, you're gonna be able to see more and more of the lovely detail in this thing. And uh, as with the other one, you can put both, uh, both bolts in and uh, let them have it. So that's, that's our, our uh, European crossbow. And we've got our Arbalest. So the Arbalest has the uh, the the greatest draw strength or draw weight of all of them, and it's about 300, 350 pounds. And to pull it back because it's so strong, you couldn't you couldn't pull it back with two hands if you wanted to. You've got to start using physics and get uh, what's called a goat's foot lever. And so this thing just snaps in, and you can kind of see that there's a a little place to snap it in, and it just gets onto the string, and you just kind of pull it back like that. It locks itself, put it back on the table, go find ourselves a bolt, and you can kind of just slide that in like that. That thing just holds it in place. Bada bing, bada boom, the most powerful crossbow. Well, most powerful crossbow that we have, at least. And uh, let's see if I can get over there. Okay, I'm here. And uh, let's go for a walk, pull that guy back. We'll get, the, we'll get the snapping a little bit better, but for now we just wanted the mechanics in place to, to do that. And uh, you can put a 12 incher in there if you wanted to. And that is that. So very, very cool. Really excited to have these two new crossbows in the game. And uh, as kind of hinted at last week, we're gonna be moving on to bows next and eventually chopping down this tree. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of fun stuff. I don't know if I can even pick this up right now. Oh, I can move it. Oh, there we go. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff going on with the bows. We can see that we've got our our kind of temporary bow string in place that doesn't have a proper texture, but at the very least, I can show off the bow. Um, we'll get the grip fixed up a little bit, but it's a pretty cool design, handcrafted, uh, kind of held together with string and leather and everything else, and kind of just bunch of sticks that were found so 
love the design of this thing. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be the most powerful bow in the world, but it's a good starter bow. And uh, playing around with the physics of just how to get this string to behave as you would expect it to, how to get the arrows knocked conveniently so you're not trying to find that, that spot. And, uh, and yeah, the big challenge that I'd love to hear feedback on is how do we get different bows feeling different in VR? We can't, we can't really simulate how hard it is to pull each one back. They're all going to have the same kind of resistance, which is none because we're holding controllers in our hands here, not an actual bow. Um, we're going to definitely change up how, uh, how, you know, how far, how far they shoot, how fast they shoot, what their drop is and all of that stuff. But if you have any ideas of how to kind of simulate the difference between an English longbow from, from the perspective of, you know, like pulling it back and, and holding it versus, uh, something like this, which is a, a lot, a lot lighter draw weight or a, a recurve bow, by all means, let us know because we're still fighting with that ourselves and we'd love to hear your thoughts. So that's about it, I think. Um, I don't think there's anything else new that I can show you. Uh, I think, I don't know if we've looked at the smelter too much before. So I've got our makes, makeshift smelter. Um, we are gonna be able to refine ore. Uh, for now, it are, it's just these uh, impervi impermeable, amazingly tough casks of lava, uh, but we are gonna have a nice uh, smelter eventually with coal and all the other fuel that would go into it uh, where you can take your raw ore and uh, looking at probably incorporating something like a bloomery uh, or well it's not going to be a bloomery because those are pretty much single use but it's going to be something where you can uh, take your ore get your bloom hammer out your bloom and then turn it into more of a molten a molten uh, ore that you can pour into molds or uh, pour into ingots and then take it over to our, for, our forge, our blacksmith over there, and uh, and do what you do with it and make make whatever you want. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's uh, that's your VR devlog number five. As always, comments in the comment section below. Head over to www.playyour.com, facebook.com/slash/yourvr, or hit us up on Twitter at at your underscore VR. And that is Y-O-R-E. All right. Talk to you guys next week.